Hiya everyone, are you all okay? I just wanted to say how thrilled I am with all your likes and shares and messages of support and I love seeing that you've made my recipes and the pictures that you send us so keep sending them and if you see us out and about in the street say hiya I don't mind some of you already have it says so I'm going to make now um, a meringue loads of folk are asking for puddings not something that I make very often a pudding I just think sometimes it's just as cheap just to go and buy some it but I'll make one I only have a few puddings in my repertoire um, so I'll, I'll show you how, how I make my raspberry meringue. It's really nice, you'll like it. So I'll get the ingredients out and I'll get back to you. So first you need to line a dish. My secret is cook it in the dish you're going to serve it in. And see, just cut a circle out of parchment paper, greaseproof paper, and line it in the bottom. That's because you'll never get it out of the dish that you cook it in. It always sticks to the bottom and then when you try and turn it out, it just collapses into a mess and you end up having to have eaten mess instead of a meringue. So find a dish that you can cook it in and do that. I'm going to make a double portion because it's such a big dish, but all you literally need is um, some eggs, corn flour, caster sugar, raspberries or any kind of fruit you want to put on the top i like to use a bit of lemon curd as well but you don't have to and some double cream so i've split the eggs so there's 10 egg whites in the bowl in a spotlessly clean bowl if your bowl's not clean your egg whites won't whip and then keep your yolks so there's my yolks we'll use them later don't forget i'm making a double portion weigh out 16 ounces of caster sugar and put your oven on to 150. Whisk your whites. So get your egg whites to this point. See they're a bit peaky. So add your sugar, 16 ounces of sugar gradually until it goes really thick and glossy. Whisk in two teaspoons of corn flour. I've got this everywhere. It's all over the kitchen. I'm going to have to have a deep clean when I've put this in the oven. And just whisk that in. Right, so put your mixture into the dish that you're going to cook it in. Make a bit of a well in the middle because that's where your fruit's going to go. So it should be all nice and glossy. And that's going to go in a 150 oven for an hour. Okay, so that's cooled in the oven. Now it will collapse, meringue does, it doesn't matter. Put your cream on. Just swish it about. Tip your fruit on. Lost half of there. Don't bother too much about what it looks like. You're not trying to go for star baker. We're not on the bake off. Just scatter them. You can use frozen raspberries. Every bit is good. And just get your lemon curd. And we're just going to drizzle. Plenty on. Then we're going to put that in the fridge just to go cold and to set. Just look at how much marshmallow there is in the base of that. Right, look at this, how much are you slavering? It's so nice. Look at all that marshmallow. I reckon there's about a thousand calories there. 